Okay, I just got in today the uh, Danco Pro Series Filet Knife. I got the nine inch. I believe I ordered two of them. Um, they just came out with this recently and uh, I haven't tried it yet. But uh, they offered up some engraving work, so I thought that was pretty cool. I'll take a look. Felt it was appropriate to use a Danco knife to open this thing. Let's see how well they pack these things up. Oh, I did order two. Okay, so here they are. It's a nine inch uh, flex knife. This is the filleting knife. Uh, nine inch is pretty good for what we're using around here for, which is typically just rock cod. It works for yellowtail also. Um, so this is actually a very good size for us. Uh, the boxing looks really nice. Uh, quality boxing. Uh, here's the particular knife. Uh, it does come, looks like with a protected tip on it. I think that's pretty cool, going a little bit of the extra mile. Awesome. The sheath that comes with it. Uh, it's a non-slip uh, handle on it. It feels pretty comfortable. They use the German uh, 4116 steel. It's Teflon coated for easy cleaning. So far, my first all overall impressions, it looks like a pretty high quality knife for a decent price. I, I wanna say this was like 25 bucks. Uh, the engraving was a little bit more. I wanna say it was like $15 on top of that. Uh, but what you're getting out of the deal just off my first impressions, looks like a very high quality knife. All right, here's the engraving work that we had done. This is what they were offering. I don't know if it's a limited time thing, but I hope not. It's a pretty cool little deal. So the flex on this blade is, is pretty strong. It's pretty stout. It's not exactly what I'm used to. There's definitely some flex involved with it, which is good uh, to make sure that you're getting as much of that meat off the fish as you can. Uh, but like I said, it's it's a little tighter than, tighter than most. Uh, an example is, is this is my uh, Kershaw blade. Um, it's definitely got like a lot more flex in it. But the other thing is, is that this blade compared to the Kershaw is obviously a lot uh, thicker when it comes down to the width of it. Um, so that might play into it also. But overall, it's it's pretty good for the most part. It's just not what I'm, I'm used to. Straight out of the box, this Danco filet knife is already pretty sharp. As shown in this video, slicing through a medium-sized tomato. Here at Above the Hook, we like to keep our fillet knives razor sharp using a 1000-3000 grit whetstone. After sliding our new Danco across the stone, the edge was noticeably different as shown here on these thinner slices. Okay, so my overall first impressions of this knife is pretty good. Um, obviously, we need to field test this still, but when it comes down to how it looks, how it feels, um, it's definitely got uh, A plus for me. Uh, the packaging on it has been uh, well thought out and well protected. I would honestly say I bought a few different uh, fillet knives and this is the first one that I've seen where they actually protect the tip on it. The sheath looks pretty decent. It does come with a belt clip on it which could come in handy. I, I don't need it. I fish off a kayak so I don't bring knives with me. I usually do it on shore so they're usually thrown in a box. Uh, but it's still uh, definitely a perk for the person who goes out on the, uh, you know, three, four day or even like just a half day charter boat, uh, having their knife on them readily available. Um, so most likely we're going to end up trying these things out and uh, maybe we'll do a review, a full review on it. Uh, if it's something that you guys are interested in, definitely hit us up. We might uh, go ahead and just put a full review out for you guys on this particular fillet knife. Uh, price point, awesome uh, price point compared to other knives. Uh, the quality of it looks just the same as, you know, let's just say like a bubble blade or one of those more expensive knives.